Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Are you wondering what you're resting on right now? Well, let me show you. This insane shelving unit that is done all in industrial piping and some simple wood can be built by you because I did it. And let me show you how I did it. As you can see here, we have a whole heck of a lot of pipe, some stain before we get started. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, turn on post notifications, a friendly reminder to everybody that watches my videos. Thank you so much. All right guys, so as you can see this beautiful sketch right here, very vivid, very high quality. Uh, I struggled in art class, can you tell? Uh, here is our general layout of what we're going for. Um, here is a list of all of our pieces that we'll be having and using and such like that. So you can see there's a lot going on. We're mainly doing it in three quarter inch pipe. We're gonna have some weathered oak and we are gonna make this poppin'. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do for this, because it's gonna be so tall, is start at the top and work my way down. Um, I'm gonna work on the very far right hand side first and we're probably gonna do that in a bit of a time lapse then I'll explain what I did. All right guys, so we have our first section complete right here. You can see we have all of our floor flanges mounted. This is gonna be going on the wall like so. Um, we have an eight inch uh, coupler that's gonna cut, connect from all of our floor flanges. We have a 90 degree piece up here at the top to obviously give us our shape to start to go down. We have 10 inch pieces in here to give us a one foot gap in total. T connectors. Uh, to keep everything obviously flowing evenly. So right here will be a shelf, right here will be a shelf, right here will be a shelf, and then one more down below right there. And as you can see right here, we have a T connector that's not connected to anything. That's because I'm gonna need to go get a custom 16 inch piece made. Um, the reason why I waited to assemble all of this together before getting any of those pieces is because I wanted to make sure I was gonna be right. So. I am, that's a W, and so we'll get that after, but I'm going to assemble the next section, which is actually going to be the exact same layout. Um, so for that, I'm going to kind of skip this, not record that section, but when I get into the, four, the third column, the third column of pillars that I'll make, you'll see that. Also, note the gloves, because I was waiting to wash these. If you remember when I did my uh, industrial table. Uh, with uh, leg piping, I did not use gloves. My hands were disgusting. I started to a little bit, and you can see, just from handling a couple pieces, it's nasty. So, black nitro gloves for the win. Keep your hands clean. All right, following up, you can see our second uh, shelf section, whatever I wanna call it, I don't know. Uh, we have that perfectly made and even with our first one, so that's good. And I knew the measurements on the first one were all good and spaced out how we needed, so obviously now that they're even, that means the second one's exactly the same. Science and math. So now we are on to our middle left section. Um, this obviously is going to follow the same pattern in the sense of this is at the eight foot point wall, uh, eight foot point on the wall, our seven foot point on the wall, our six foot point on the wall. However. I obviously didn't continue it, and that's because we are gonna prepare this to have a section where you can hang clothes. Um, and again, kind of like with the first two sections I made, I wanted to make sure I knew the exact measurements of what I would need for those materials and such. So I didn't get it yet, um, but I'm gonna do like a whole nother run for all those little miscellaneous pieces that I'll need. Um, but that is our third section. And for the fourth section, it's gonna mirror the same thing because that's gonna be where we hang clothes. So you will see me once I get all the miscellaneous pieces I need. So he, here you can see we have all of our new little nuanced pieces that we'll need. I went ahead and picked up, uh, this is literally called a close coupler, three quarter inch close uh, focus, three quarter inch close, not even like a measurement. So 
Look for the close one. So two more T brackets. We have two 16 inch pieces for our far right side of our stand over there. We're gonna have a 22 inch piece for our hanging of clothes. And then we're gonna have two 36 inch pieces for the far left side of this stand. It might be confusing, but it won't be in a second. A massive shout out to Prodigy Indie Man, AKA Thomas Ganino, making his return for the second time in my video. Uh, what we did, as you saw, I put the half inch coupler at the end of this T-bar here, and then we connected the 22 inch bar here to get us about roughly two feet worth of space to hang clothes from. And then we just simply, I simply connected one end, flipped it onto its side, and rotated this other end until we were on there secure and tight. So now we're gonna add the 36 inches onto these T couplers and then get to the bottom where the floor will be. Okay, get it. So as you can see, we have our half inch with our T with our bar, then our 36 inch uh, space to hang clothes with. And then over here, we just took our 16 inch pieces of pipe and added them onto our previous section. And then obviously for both areas, because this is gonna be 30 inches off the ground, this is gonna be 20 inches off of the ground on both sides. And that's where we're gonna run two more boards. So the last thing I need to do is just take some 18 inch pipe and add it to the bottom here because that's going to be what all of this rests on as well as obviously tying into the wall so nothing to it but to do it we switched to the phone we're back at lakeside assembly god if you've watched my cable video for those bad boys You've seen we've been here before, but what we did is marked out everywhere these pipes have to be on our wall for all of our spacing, as you can see or not see. But now what we are going to do is line these up with all of our markings and mark our holes that are on our flanges in order to put in our anchors. So as you can see, we went through everywhere. We marked the circles that are on the flanges and we put in our drywall anchors. So now, we're gonna secure this bad boy right into place. So as you can see here, we are now fully secured in. We got all our screws into our anchors, top to bottom. So now all we have to do is repeat the step three more times. So as I always say, nothing to it but to do it. As you can see, everything is now stocked up and in place. Very happy. This was kind of a frustrating process because the floor is not very level. And because of that, it threw everything off. So we were kind of doing a balancing act of trying to hold everything in place while making sure it was level, but we got the job done. Also, the frame of our door here is crooked as well. So that didn't help setting our line. So we had to readjust everything, but we are now done and in shape and in looking good. So all we need to do is get some wood cut. We now have everything cleaned up in terms of all of the piping, no more gunk on everything. If you saw my industrial table video, you should know my process for that. Just simple Dawn soap and water, cleans it up really good. We then used our ultra clear cover as well in order to preserve the piping for longer. And now all we have to do is put up all of our shelving. And just like that, everything is all secured and in place. We have our two big shelves up top, two smaller shelves here, a nice hanging area for clothes, a hanging rack for clothes right there, two bottom tiers of storage as well. We made sure that there, there's still access to the outlet, but overall this build is done and complete. I don't know when merch will get put on there, if there is any merch to put on there, I'll try to get a clip of that in here, but if not, that's it for this video. 
please like the video if you like the video leave a comment down below what you think of the video did you try this yourself did it work let me know down below subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications you guys know the drill help this channel grow i appreciate it we are going to do a giveaway at 500 subscribers it will be a gift card of some sort but you got to subscribe to the channel don't forget to check out all my socials down below Thank you guys so much again for watching. Have a great day or night. Don't forget to keep God number one. God bless.